than I, than I thought it would be. Uh, play games with better netcode. That's also a good alternative. Yeah, really that's true. At least there. Nintendo is like trying to take a step in the right direction with the new OLED Switch. Ha yeah, having an Ethernet port. Uh, on that it. can only that can only do so much. Like see, I know that, that, that's the thing too. Is like it having an Ethernet point port is only so much. I feel like what they need to do for me here is man is just change the netcode, and then we can start to have here. But you know what? Fingers crossed. Maybe that OLED Switch does have. <laughs> Much better oper much better functions. I can definitely tell you guys, it's all, I, from what I do know, just doing a little bit of research on my own, the Wi-Fi chipset that the Switch has is not great. If, you, if you're playing the Switch on Wi-Fi and not an adapter, you are not doing yourself any favors, man. But right here, we need no adapter. It is going to be min-main. Another Wi-Fi player here and coming out. And speaking of Mastas, we have a on stream right now. Yeah, min-main was one of those players we did see on the Wi-Fi solid. He did quite a few top eights at MSM Online here. We'll be at MSM Offline. And I'm definitely looking to see if he's going to be one of those players who do make his top eight offline. Yeah, definitely. Like, min-main, I just realized this is min-main. That's the problem. Alright, well, Hero Master doing a pretty good job. That's one thing that you can do against a character like Min Min and as a zoner is if you get into that character's range, their tools to try to outzone you are not that great. Yeah, you don't exactly. see Min Min go for that up B, particularly speaking, because I did say this earlier on the stream. That up B does not have that great of a range. It's so. It has like a dead zone where it will just not grab the ledge and be too far off. And it's arguably one of the worst of the tethers in terms of range. I thought we were going to see a stock in right there from a single, <laughs> from a single Mario interaction right there. Um, but yeah, you know, speaking of someone who plays Mario, I definitely understand the quirkiness of playing a specific uh, range and against characters like, who are grapplers like Mario and how you absolutely struggle. Yeah. So, but a very well placed uh, hit with the Mega Watch is going to be a uh, Mario out for that first stock. Yeah, good pivot bring out grab from here from the main. Tries to go for, nearly for the Dragon Laser, knowing. If Master Mario wanted to go for that low recovery, that might have actually spelled death how far Mario was going to be on the stage. I do like Min Main trying to go for the Ram Ram neutral, neutral air, just because of how fast it is and if Mario is trying to meet you up in the air. You see that angle? It's rough for Min Min. Yeah. She will not grab. If it would have been Violet, that would have been a, a tether for sure. But for Min Min, it's not a grab at all. All right, yeah. good to switch to Mega Watt here. Is there a tech? All right, good way to tech her out. But unfortunately, going back to the seat of the crime, Master Mario was there for the back air. And he does a full hop back air because he could definitely land and cover any other option Min Min would have tried to go for if they had tried to escape the ledge. Yeah, I'm surprised there was no punish on that, uh, that re right there. Master was right there. That makes it like, really well. Uh, and that's what it was. But uh, Min Min now is definitely going to need to uh, really put some emphasis on that spacing. Was able to close out that stock, uh, but this is by uh, no means a uh, free game against uh, Mario for the fight character. Uh, at, this, at this point, you're thinking that you got to play yeah, as smart and spacey as possible because one interaction just like this can put so much percent on you, and then all of a sudden you are uh, one read away from that. Uh, speaking of one read, one read away from that, that's what Master Mario is looking for, that one big read. Looking to get this back air, goes off the deep end, not enough. Min Min is still able to recover. Uh, one read from death here, Min Min is also an opportunity here against Master. Wolf is on last stock. I do like the advancing arms here, just to try to cover yourself and get back towards the safety. You gotta watch the landing there is. The Mega Watt, can you cover the... No, no forward air after the red. No, not quite. She's got a little bit of air. Yeah, that's good. Still goes oh. for the arms. And the reason why you want to do for that is if Master was on the stage, you want him to hold shield. You want him to respect you as you try to make, make your way back. Yeah, uh, Mega was also a rough start. Oh, my coverage. Was able to close out that stock and uh, did very well uh, bringing that back, especially that last stock. Like yeah. that, that, that very last stock, she real, uh, Min Main realized, uh, okay, I need to be focusing a little bit more on how smart I'm spacing and was able to uh, not only bring it back to a neutral phase, but then end up taking that last stop from yeah. quite a state it's, of It's advantage. also good the way that they pulled it out because they went for the laser to cover the, the aerial. If they tried to jump in for any other particular reason, they would have caught Mario on the jump and then cover that with the Megawatt if they try to roll get up or they try to neutral get up. That's the beautiful thing that we saw here about Min Min. He's taking his chances. Understanding, okay, if Master wants to jump, I got that covered. If he wants to get up, roll, shield, I have those options covered. And that's what you can see here with Min Main and still being able to hold center stage because of that distance. Oh, so good. Yeah, absolutely. And here we are again going back to uh, Northern Cave. Man, it is so interesting to see this being played, uh, being 
played offline, and I personally am a fan of this stage. I prefer it over Kalos. Yeah, uh, I granted I love Pokemon music. I already have oh, a stage with Pokemon dude. music. <laughs> Having a stage with Final Fantasy music, I will take, especially hot off the heels from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, uh, I prefer specifically it's the platform placement on this stage uh, that I like a little bit more. They're a little bit lower, and I just find myself oh uh, no super unfortunate there. Yeah, um, and like I told you, that recovery angle from that tether, it's not that great. And Master knows, I just gotta do a few floods here, and Min Main will not have anything, even with a jump at times. Yeah, and like that, that very, that very much is uh, true. But you know, at the opposite end of the spectrum, I have seen Min Min dip with the Ram Ram on the ledge, like just as easy as Mario does with like, the cape and stuff. The yeah. flood. Uh, it's a unique tool. It's definitely something uh, that we're gonna want to see uh, a lot more. Uh, Maybe can take early stocks from the game uh, quite as well. She can still jump with that, uh, with that tool very, very quickly. Yeah, and, and it's good for the character to just still be able to uh, understand that too, like you said, right? There are some early games you can get on Mario, and Min Man is looking for opportunities to even clear out some things and possibly even get opportunities to go for those games. Like, again, like I said, landing neutral air with the Ram Ram here, no down tilt from afterwards. That's the thing here that we're also seeing from the main is looking to get some subtle combos, anything against Master to bring on that damage to close the gap. I do like those arms though, because like I said, you want to keep your opponent busy as they try to guard you on that ledge. Yeah, uh, Min Man has been doing a lot better uh, at facing this round. And putting a lot more oh. emphasis on the air too, like stuff like that. Uh, we're seeing just like a lot more optimal use for the character with the nice yeah. score in this round. And I do like that burn of the jump there from Min Man just because you want to be able to kind of change your, your recovery angle. And sometimes you don't want to be too greedy and save that jump. Yeah, uh, definitely agree with that. Definitely agree with that. Uh, but now uh, Min Min actually been the one out there. I'm going to so I was going to say, <laughs> the one struggled because they're closed on, uh, their stock closed. Uh, but now we're going to see uh, both of these people uh, on their uh, their last stocks here. Uh, and you can see just the onslaught continues uh, being a lot smarter. We're seeing a lot more of the retreating tilts yeah. uh, from uh, from Min Main, which is definitely definitely something that should have been used a lot more. Because, in, uh, first game. and it's good too because you can start to advance towards your opponent or m move slowly away as you try to get some control back. That's the beauty about Min Min being able to use her tilt, but still also being able to move. They either look for control or look for a defensive offensive option. And you can see that offensive here for Min Min. The best defense is a good offense, and those offensive air arms are coming to play. Landing Megawatt here, Master Mario in a bit of trouble, still has a second arm swing. I do like that upbeat, does not want to be on the ground as Master looks to land here. And Master looking for a clean pick, anything from a back air to a nair to a, to a smash attack. He's being a little bit out zone here, barely avoiding the Megawatt arm, and unfortunately, he will jump into it as Min Main continues that pressure up until the very end. Yeah, and I feel like we were, uh, you know, rightfully so, uh, putting a lot of emphasis on 